Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss JD for another episode of our daily stock market insights. And uh, today is uh, February 8th, 2022. It's 2.58 in the morning and I hope you guys are having a, a good time. Uh, I know some of you are already sleeping and uh, I hope you first thing in the morning before you dive into the market, you drop by Miss JD's channel and check out this review. And um, by the way, I I do this my uh, I do this for uh, documenting my thoughts. So if uh, the insights that I have here may not fit what you have in in the way you view things, don't be surprised because we have different profile in the market, and it's already very early in the morning because the cryptocurrency space is really giving us some good action right now so uh, those people who are in in crypto as well you, you would understand why um anyway but the focus of our discussion today is really on the philippine market and uh, let me start with our index the index right now did a pullback uh, as you can see here we ended the the day red with uh one negative one percent uh however the uh, overall sentiment of our foreign investors is really still on the buying side so this could just be a you know a healthy pullback that we have here and at the moment i am now looking at 7337 as our new support area your previous resistance before is now going to be our support so the reason why I'm saying that is look at this. This used to be a resistance over here and here. Also this one over here. So it could still be slightly higher or lower because it's always an area. Okay, just take note of that. Okay, so it might even touch that or worse is of course your uh, MA20 line. So that's the farthest we can anticipate for it to pull back. Okay, but for this one, um, if you were able to check because I am, I am also in Investigram. So of course, this is the the portal that I use to that I use when I do charting. And the other day, yesterday, I was able to do a screenshot. I bet a lot of you guys found out about Miss JD here in in Invest Investigrams. So I posted this last night, very early in the morning, uh, about. Mary Mart. Okay, I mentioned here. <laughs> I mentioned here malapit na. So I said support between 150 to 175, still within the downtrend channel, but the volume and the green candlestick uh, last Friday could already mean reversal approaching soon. So I mentioned that in my screenshot. Because uh, the volume, look, the volume is also very uh, huge there. So what happened in Mary Mart today? So indeed, there was a continuation and it respected the area where I was anticipating and that actually did not put in my Bollinger Band, but right off the bat, I could definitely say that that's your MA20 line. So tomorrow is another big day. Uh, probably another thing to look forward to because there's still foreign buying that's happening and we have dropped so much for this stock and i think it is just starting to recover do you see that it is starting to recover but we're not out of the woods yet only because we have not surpassed the ma20 line because currently i mean for the longest time that area is respected as a downtrend resistance and it stopped right there so the make or break action tomorrow or later today is when this thing crosses the MA20 line to the upside. Okay, so that is your trigger that there could be indeed a continuation or a continuation of the reversal. Otherwise, this is just a, you know, a dead cat bounce. <laughs> but once it crosses the MA20 line, that's a different story. And given that we have foreign buying right now, that could add to our positive conviction that there is a big possibility. Another thing that we did not catch is Double Dragon. Double Dragon here continued to climb up with 
9.18% in just a one day worth of performance. But if we were able to catch this from the bottom, because it did sideways for a very long time, okay, if we were able to catch this from the bottom, then th this could have given us a good, let us say, you entered right here. That was outright 20% in a span of three to four days. But let's try to dissect this chart because this is one of my favorite setups. Um, so notice this is sideways for the longest time. So if I'm to draw here, our support, it could be probably right here, right? So there's a slight variance uh, in some of the days, but the average is just right there. Notice this one over here. While it was doing sideways, your RSI is starting to gain momentum, starting to gain that bullish divergence. So that could have been the trigger if um, you're all, if we are all monitoring this, right? But sometimes you really just cannot catch everything. So where could we have um, spotted that? So notice this. First green candlestick, first green engulfing candlestick. Okay, fine. Um, sometimes it happens. There could be an engulfing, but the best day to enter here would be this one. It started to trigger the upper band, and then it officially crossed the uh, MA20 line to the upside. So probably when um, the market opened and most of the sentiment is really towards the up the, the you know, the positive side or going up, then that could have been the uh, the trigger, okay? And then we're already up, up here somewhere, I'm sure somewhere already in the 50s, okay? So, and then we are already at the ME20 line. So that could have been, that could have been your, your test buy, okay? The closer you are to the ME20, the better. Because sometimes it can also happen like this, right? And it did not sustain. The difference between this day and this day because it crossed the MA20 line, right? Both crossed the MA20 line. The only downside here is there is no volume. That means the, the climb in, the increase in the price is not sustainable. It's not backed by volume. But this one, there's really volume starting to uh, increase. Do you see that? The volume is starting to climb. And what can I say about today? There is still a big possibility that it will continue because while it was going up, going up, the volume is also increasing. It is still increasing. Okay. At the same time, this has been sleeping for a very long time. In fact, this is not the peak. It's just halfway because this has dropped so much for several years now i don't know maybe four years months let's go months here see how much it dropped it went back to the ipo days okay so it's like mary mart it went back to the ipo days um chart so if you are trying to uh, buy the dip bottom fishing for instance this is the perfect setup so this is the overall story of this chart so if you want to go daily for those uh, position traders this could be your your time frame daily but try to expand it so that you see the overall picture so Merrimart and um, double dragon both have been badly be beaten uh, stocks had, had it was declining for the longest time and starting to show recovery now. Okay, let's check out the other stocks from the top. Okay, so I just want to mention those because I really found those intriguing. Mond, Mond over here uh, is still red. It, you know what's interesting with Mond is if you were just doing intraday, or let's say you were able to enter somewhere here at the bottom and it, it dropped last february 4th and you exited right here that was already an outright gain because today it did a gap up gap up but intraday it 
managed to fill that gap and went back to the support. So if you're a long-term holder here, so nothing to worry because this is a very cheap level. And then th this stock is now part of the index. So just accumulate uh, if you believe in the fundamentals of MOD. Okay, so we are now sitting at a possible support. But it's not a dead end or it's not a, a final uh, support because the moment it starts to break that, it could still drop some more. I'm not saying that this is already it. Okay, but what I'm saying is let's wait for a green candlestick, a confirmation perhaps within the area, because the moment a green candlestick comes out there, then that's your confirmation that indeed that's your support. And then let's wait for this uh, green to continue and then the volume to continue moving up as well. Um, next is Converge. Converge, still not safe. Okay. We're still outside of that Bollinger Band. That means it could still trigger trigger uh, some more. Um, but it's good that it already uh, rejected this area. So that means it could already signify that that's a, an area of support. You know why? Because let's see, if I plot it right there and look to the left, I see a, these days consolidating at the area. So there is a big chance that it's really respecting that level as our support. So in case there will be fluctuations tomorrow there could be another wick and touch its level so that's your uh, support area so for those people catching this at the cheaper level uh, try to probably start putting this in your watch list same methodology the moment you see uh, another one to two days worth of candlestick consolidating at this level and then the volume is also starting to climb up then that is your trigger that hey it is probably going to bounce anytime soon sp neck okay so i was very conservative on this but today's candlestick could mean something else it could mean that let's say let's use the fibonacci retracement tool let's try to use this up to here so in this case looks like according to our Fibonacci, it has respected the 0.236 area. This is the first area of possible bounce. The Fibonacci retracement tool measures the possible area in an uptrend. It measures the possible area of where a stock could possibly, possibly drop and bounce. So this is the first area of possible bounce. The second area is very near your MA20, and the third would be slightly lower than your MA20. So those are your key levels. So let's see if there will be a continuation, right? Is there a foreign buying still? Yeah, it's already selling. Okay. The green today, notice the green today is lower than yesterday's volume. So I will still stick to the 0.236 or the point, no, no, 2.05 as our support for now. If it drops, the next one is 1.89. Okay. MBT slight uh, drop, but hey, look at this. It even reached as high as 63. So I'm thinking it will probably go sideways first. Probably. Um, oh, no. Be extra careful. If you are already profitable here, Consider locking in gains. You know why? Okay, so it tried to go trigger the upper side or the upper band, right? However, if you are to observe, so it did a double top here, touched the resistance twice, multiple days, in fact, during this period and this period. But your RSI is already starting to show a declining momentum. In fact, that is the reason why up to when it reached the year, upper Bollinger, Bollinger Band tried to trigger that. It did not sustain because uh, people felt that that's already a bit on the expensive side, so they're locking in their gains. Um, at the moment, um, on the con you know, looking at the conservative side, there could be a day or two worth of red and uh, MA20. Just follow this MA20 line as your support because at the moment, it is respecting that. If I'm to draw that line, the trend line 
which is very, very near your MA20 line. So that is your um, upward or uptrend channel. That's your uptrend channel, okay? So let's see, let's observe. So far, uh, personally, I'm in MBT and uh, I'm in for, for long term, but let us see. I'll try to observe if I'm able to wake up on time later. Um, I'll see what action there is. If it continues to touch this level, let me just remove this. I will remove the yellow line. If it touches the this area over here, the uh, resistance level in our uptrend, then maybe I could lock in gains there. If not, just stay still. Okay. Sometimes the best action is you don't you don't take action. Okay. So that is for MBT, ASEN, ASEN, MA20. So I, I mentioned last time, I don't know if it was in my short video, I said there that don't take action unless you see this crossing the MA20 line. And it did not happen. In fact, you had a red day today. So my, my uh, outlook now is it might go back to your 8.93 level or even here 8.86 level so that's the next support i see okay because this one you have this and you have this it's actually an area it could even reach 8.56 so let it just drop you know nothing to be worried about with asen this market is just giving everyone a a good area to buy things at a lower price see that so yeah, gather those buying powers and uh, buying power, and so you can buy these stocks at a discounted price. Okay. Oh, next is Dito with three point twenty two. Okay, you know what? Looking at the trend, um, trying to recall which day that was, but I've been uh, drawing this line over here in my previous uh, episodes. This one was your downtrend channel. Last Friday was a breakout of the downtrend channel. However, there is this MA20 line that could also act as a resistance. But today is a different story because February 7th, market performance, there was a continuation. It officially crossed the MA20. So there could be a possibility that it will go continue to go up. However, uh, allow me to just simply plot our support this time at the MA20 area. I am a big fan of the MA20 line because it really signifies that that area tells us something that will happen right there. It could either a break out of that level or it will just revisit that. You know, we have already crossed that path, right? So uh, fluctuations can happen. And just wait for it. Wait for it to, to drop around the 531 and then probably enter. Okay, so that's my view on it. So that's the nearest support. Okay, so I think that is it, guys. I hope I was able to share a few uh, insights uh, for you today. Uh, some of them may not apply to you, but use that for entertainment purposes or, <laughs> uh, yeah for entertainment purposes at the same time you know this is for um self self for personal consumption i'm looking for the right word the videos i do every day those videos or these videos are also for personal consumption because what i would normally do right after the market closes i go back to the videos and I reflect on my on how I I was analyzing things. If they are moving according to my outlook, then I I reinforce those in my trades. And so far, for the past how many years now, it has been helping me. It allowed me to to uh, gain mastery in in I'm not master yet, but it it allowed me to gain proficiency in my trading skills okay so enough about the rambling 
Uh, but in the meantime, thank you guys for watching and you have a great evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye for now.